today I have my red nose. And when I when I um, have it on, it makes me sound like I have a black nose. So I'm just going to take this off. Ugh. But anyway, um, I've literally just watched my friend Ankara's video about what's actually in my school bag, and it inspired me to make one. She had her red red nose day ears, and I've got my red nose. And I agree about the sweaty nose thing. Seriously, I had it on for five minutes earlier today where I got it and it made my nose all warm and weird and sweaty and it's kind of sweaty now but anyway um, I really like this red nose like it's so cute like how can you not like it how can you not like it anyway on to the real point of this video so today I'm going to be doing a what's in my school bag and I just watched my friend Ankara's video and I want to do the same as her because I am a little copycat no, seriously, just kidding. Um, she's like one of my best YouTube friends, so, you know, I'm just going to do a what's actually in my school bag because I have a lot of stuff in there right now which I just don't take out. Like, I've just got random stuff and I don't always take the rest of the stuff out like she said in hers. And also, it is my birthday on Friday and today is Tuesday. So, yeah, it's my birthday on Red Nose Day, guys, and we're allowed to go in fancy dress to school. And someone told me to go in my birthday suit, so thanks to that person, and I'm not doomed to do that. And I'm probably just going to go in normal clothes, because I don't have an idea on what to wear. If you know, if you can think of what I should dress up as, please comment down below, because I'd love to hear your suggestions. And I just uploaded on my vlog channel yesterday, it was a vlog about seeing Room 94 again. I did one of those vlogs last year. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, because this intro has probably been like 5 minutes long. And I'm going to get onto what's in my school bag. And I have been promising this video for so long, I know, since like September when we started school. And today I'm actually going to do one, so yeah, for school bags. And sorry about the appearance, my makeup's probably all sweated off because I got home from school like two hours ago, so fancy. <laughs> probably one hour ago actually. And it was curling my hair, but I've brushed it out, so now it's like still curly, but looks weird. And yeah, let's get started on what's in this. Oh my god you can see how heavy it is so this is my school bag and it was like 10 pound I think or 14 from eBay and yes the straps are kind of falling but I'm not surprised because there is a lot of weight in here and yes the straps do break a lot so I have to remake these but um, yeah um, I'm probably gonna have to start looking to get a new bag soon because I kind of want one anyway but um, I bought this with my own money and everything so that is kind of all I had to get a bag because my mum wouldn't buy me one as I, she said I didn't need one as I had only got one in the airport but anyway let's just get started what's in my bag so basically I have a bag obviously and it's got like this little section that um, holds kind of like I just use it to hold my school books so in the back section of that I have this little folder which I showed in my school supplies haul and um, I use this for English stuff like I used it for I did like a questionnaire in English and I used used it to take the questionnaires to school and then collect them back in so that's what's in there and I use it in case I need to keep anything straight then also I have my English book and I'm not going to show you the front because there's kind of like a little giveaway to each school I go to which I don't want you guys to know. Sorry about that posh accent for a second. But anyway, this is my English book and I have this really big speech thing coming up in English next Wednesday and people are probably jealous of my date because some people had to do it last week, some people have to do it this week, but I got two weeks to, two weeks to uh, finish my speech and I haven't actually finished writing it yet and I still need to learn it but with my birthday coming up I kind of don't want to because I want to get excited for my birthday but I will learn it because it's a quarter of my GCSE grade then next I have this media thing because I do media at school and we were just looking sorry about all this it's very folded and sorry if you can hear my laptop in the background and the washing machine downstairs even though the washing machine's just been on so I don't see why it would be on again but anyway besides the washing machine this is um, a thing for media and we were just looking at um, TV crime grams because that's what we're doing in media at the moment then I have a full science book which I'm just going to cover up again and that is a biology book 
which is full and this can't keep the full one so we have to bring them home. This is my planner and I'm just going to cover up everything on there because I don't want you to see what school I go to. And it's my school planner and then I just have my timetable on the back. And on my birthday, which is on Friday, we have science, maths, English, science, and PSHC. And that's kind of like the worst day of the week. Like, why would they pick those lessons for Friday, which is a day when you want to get happy about the weekend? But anyway, I don't know what that was. And um, let's just get on to the next thing. The next thing in, like, this separator, I'm not sure if you can see. It's got, like, a little separator here. And that everything I've just showed you was in there. I keep my bottle in the separator, which is kind of manky because I fill it up every day. And it's a water bottle, which used to have water in it. But I fill it with orange because I love orange. I'm just going to place that on the floor. I chucked everything else. Uh, then I have my calculator, uh, which is one that we have to have for school, and I'm pretty sure this is the one Anne Carrot had in her school bag too, and it's just a scientific calculator. You do, They do do them in pink, but they're like one pound more, and my mum wouldn't pay for the one pound more, so I just got the black one, which I'm kind of, yeah, I'm happy with now, but at the time I did want the pink one. But I don't mind having that one. It's just a calculator at the end of the day. Now on to like the main section. So I have a lunch box which I put my lunch in. I have sorry about that. I have two pencil cases which I showed in my um video for the back to school haul supplies. And they have since um lost one eye each. This one has lost its eye um quite a lot and I've had to keep gluing it back on and the glue I use is yellow so that's why that's yellow the glue I use for this one is clear so that's why that's clear and um, these pencil cases like the eyes fall off them all the time this one's for colours by the way this one's for just like normal pencils and this one's way more full because I have so many colours in there and my friend said that this one had an eye infection because of the yellow eye so yeah that's what Kaylee said so if you want me to name those pencil cases, you should totally comment down below what those pencil cases should be called. Also, in the other section, which I didn't show you, you know, the other section which had my books in, I also keep my reading book, which we have to read in English for 15 minutes at the beginning of the lesson. And this is just one I got for Christmas. It's called Let It Snow, and it's three stories in one book. And they kind of all link to each other. So, like, the first story is about, like, the train shuts down so the girl who was on the train goes into like this waffle house which is where they make waffles and then the next story is about someone in the waffle house's friends and stuff so they all link together and um, the people who wrote the stories are John Green, Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle and I'm currently on John Green's story nearly at the end so after that I'm going to start reading Paper Towns so that I can watch the film when it comes out and then Next, I have girl things in this bag. You know, them girl things. Next, in this bag, this is my emergency girls kit. And I will show you what's in here, because I'm not going to make a separate video on it. But basically, I have a nail file, because last year when I was at school, people kept asking me, well, no, one person asked me if I had a nail file. And since then, I have put, like... So that since the start of this year I have put a nail file in here just in case anyone needs one, including myself, and actually two people have used this. Then I have a top coat in case I rip my tights because if you put nail polish on your tights it stops the rip from developing any further. And this has glitter in it because I tried painting my nails and then putting glitter on the top and I used this to seal it and it has glitter in it so I'm going to have some glittery tights if they rip. And then I also have this little powder brush which I used to take powder with me but I don't anymore because the powder I have is cracked and I don't want to get make a mess um, with it. And then I have this little drawstring bag which I used to um, keep bobby pins hair grips in but I don't do that anymore. I just keep them on my tie usually because they're just it's just easy access, you know. It's easy access. So and then the last thing I have in the main part of my bag is this manky old um carrier bag which I'm just gonna throw away. And then also um this bag has like this kind of lining in it and this lining always falls off as you can see it's very flaky and in the bottom there's a whole bunch of that lining which is actually annoying and disgusting and it gets stuck to my pencil case all the time so I'm just going to empty this into the bin and hope it doesn't get on the floor oh my gosh it's going to get on the floor I can see it I know it oh 
gosh, it's all over my knees. Just gonna forget that that ever happened. I got majority of it out. No, I didn't. There's still like half a bob. Two seconds. Now that's all gone. Um, I'm gonna go into the front pocket, and in here I just have pencil sharpener, and it's not in my pencil case because it wouldn't fit in there. A little bracelet that my friend bought me when she went on holiday, and I have wore this. I just didn't take it out of my school bag when I wore it one day. I have this glitter shimmer mist from Paul's Boutique, which I don't actually use. I used it one day, so I decided to put it in my bag for that day and it's the 24 7 one you can get am pm and 24 7 but this is the nicest smelling one in my opinion i got the set for my birthday from beth's mum um, a couple of years ago and then i have a part of a wrapper from hershey's peanut butter cups no reese's peanut butter cups so anyway that was in that was what was in my school bag and now i'm going to pack everything back up Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And I'm very sorry that I haven't uploaded in two weeks. I'm sorry I didn't address that at the beginning of the video either. But I did try filming a video, but it was like too zoomed in and the lighting was really off, even though I did have my light on. But I filmed it when it was quite dark, so the lighting was still quite off. But anyway, um, thanks for watching this video. And I do have a lot planned throughout March. Um, so if you would like to see a birthday haul then please thumbs this video up and give leave a comment down below telling me you would and also make sure to comment down below if you think I should go dressed up for Red Nose Day at school and comment what I should go dressed up as. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video which will probably be something about birthdays if you do want a birthday haul. Yeah, I think I probably will do one if you guys want to see it and it's my birthday on Friday so I will... Um, probably be uploading that either next week or at the end of this week but most likely next week because I do have my English speech to revise for as I showed as I told you when I was showing you what was in my bag so yeah I'll see you on my next video bye guys this is the aftermath of what just happened when I was emptying my bag now I need to go clear it all up bye but I don't feel never only.